Welcome, contestants, to day two of the ultimate interactive guide for SCUM. With all the positive feedback, we have decided to keep the standard mission schedule. Today, we have a few hidden objectives that you will need to complete before you can do all 10 missions. Hope you find it entertaining and educational at the same time. Please be sure to add your rating out of 10 again. And we love the feedback as well. Here are your 10 missions for day two. One, get tinder from a dead log. Two, cook a vegetable skewer. Three, cook a meat skewer. Four, craft an improvised backpack. Five, craft a water skin. Six, craft an improvised bulletproof vest. 7. Craft a metal spear. 8. Get to 40 fame. 9. Buy a hiking backpack. 10. Equip a pistol fully. We look forward to your feedback in the comment section. Good luck and see you on day 3. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to day two of the ultimate interactive guide for SCUM in version 0 0.85. And yeah, I've got, we've got 10 new missions from the Tech One company. And thank you very much for your positive feedback. It definitely meant that the Tech One giant gave us a little bit of a break today. It didn't give us too many things to search for. So first thing I'm going to do now is if I look at my metabolism, where if the colon or the bladder goes over 50%, if the if just the bladder goes over 50%, then you can go and have a pee. And of course, if your colon goes over 50% and your bladder's over 50%, then you can just poop, okay, by holding in tab, going to the toilet and pooping, and then you will pee and poop at the same time, okay? So you will see here our colon is going to get emptied. And then as soon as the colon reaches close to zero then we're going to empty our bladder automatically as well and then we've emptied our bladder and everything unfortunately i didn't go and sleep on a bed that was a that was a very very big mistake because we're at exhaustion c2 at the moment so yeah one major tip for you guys is to always make sure you go sleep in a bed you can either craft a bed um, when you log out, uh, crafting a bed is not that difficult, okay? Um, three long sticks. Um, you can use tree bark rope, four dirty rags, and a cutting tool, okay? So it doesn't take a lot of effort to craft a bed. And sleeping when you log off will make sure that you're nice and fresh when you wake up. Or you can just go to a town, hold F over a bed, because the default option on a bed at the moment is search. But you can just hold in F and then... Um, choose to sleep on the bed and then you log out so we've got the missions for today and what i'm going to do is because i'm in this still in this kind of desert area in the map um, i'm rather going to start with getting to 40 fame okay so mission eight is get to 40 fame points uh, with olives or logs. So you can basically, if you're not in the desert area, you can search logs for grasshoppers and larvae and stuff like that. Uh, but if you're in the desert area, then you can search these olive bushes. And I don't want you guys to be religious about doing the missions from top to bottom. You can do it in any order that you want, as long as you do all 10 before you come back to the next video, okay? Very important for me that you guys follow the steps with me so that we can have a natural progression to where we're going. And to get fame, we're at 23 fame at the moment. You need to double-click the items into your inventory, okay? And then you just drag them out. Or you can eat them. It's your choice. But I basically just drag them out. And I'm going to do this until I reach 40 fame. And then I'll see what mission I'm going to take on next. I am a bit hot at the moment. And one great thing that I didn't show you guys is that I found, found the... It's like a Negan biker leather jacket that has a lot of inventory space. So that's very, very nice. 
Uh, but I'm just going to see if I can organize my loot a little bit better here. I think I'm going to put down that. I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to put the card and the money here. Because every item that you wear is giving you heat, is you know, is letting you get hot. A helmet always gives three heat, so it's nice if you could take your helmet off. This giving four heat, but we are getting a bit hot. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the raincoat um, in my pants and see if that helps. Because the average body temperature is 36.6. So as long as it's not going up while I'm standing still, I'm fine. If I get hotter than this, I know it's because I'm moving around and then I can always go into the shade. The game has got a great mechanic where if you're standing in shade, you cool down, okay? Um, so there's a difference in temperature, whether you're in shade or under the sun. So you can see my hypothermia is getting lower now. We're cooling down nicely now that we're standing in the shade. Okay, so you can always use the shade to cool down. But that's basically all I'm going to do. If you guys are in the middle of the map, go and search logs until you're at 40 fame. And I'll be back with it. I'll be back with the next one. Okay, while I'm searching olive bushes, um, I might as well just do the first mission as well. So when you make a fire which we're going to need to make to do the next to do mission two and three to make a fire um i'm just going to show you guys here you make the fire like that but to light the fire you need tinder tinder takes a small wooden stick you know and a cutting tool but it takes quite long to to craft the tinder the animation or you know the time bar to craft it takes quite long so all you have to do is just come to these logs, which you have to search in any case for larvae and grasshoppers. You just hold F over it and cut it into logs. And as soon as you cut these dead logs or whatever you call them, they are extremely big. As soon as you cut them down, then they give you tinder. Okay? So you can always just keep a tinder on you for when you want to make a fire. So that's it. Get tinder from a log. We've done mission one. Quite easy. Um, I need six more fame, so let me carry on with my olive picking. Okay, we have finished um, mission eight, which is gain 40 fame. And, and just another important note here, when you look at the map, all the light blue water you can't drink, all the dark blue water you can drink. When the water is light blue, it's ocean water. When the water is dark blue, it's river water, okay? So... We can drink this water right here. We can fill the bottle that we had on us. And now we can drink. And it's not going to do anything to us. Okay? Because we've got zero water. We haven't, we haven't got zero water, but still. And then if you're very, very desperate, you're not near water, you can also... Um, get to cactuses and search the cactuses. But with the cactus plants, or whatever they call it here, um, the durability is very important. Like, let's say I'm going to get 100 milliliters of water from this cactus. If it was only 50%, I'm only going to get 50 milliliters of water. And, of course, you can't eat too many of them because they will give you a bit of repulsion. So never eat more than two repeatedly but as you can see they're 50 milliliters of water but you know depending on the dura durability that depends on what it will give you and it will give you a little bit of food but i like to drink um like this because when you drink straight out of a water source you'll see we are 340 milliliters okay so from 330 milliliters to about 530 we're getting 100 milliliters from every time we drink directly from a water source so when i'm very low on water i like to when i'm like zero i like to drink about seven or eight times but i wasn't 30 percent so five times about five i am I'm, I'm, I'm at 900 milliliters that's almost a liter that will be more than enough actually if you want to make it easier for yourself, let's say this is a liter, okay? Depending on how much um, strain you put your character through. But basically a half a bottle, the little blue bottles, that's 500 milliliters, they will help you a lot 
and then a canteen. Um, you won't even be able to drink an entire canteen. A half a canteen is 750. So if you drink the canteen, you stop it before it gets to 50%, you'll see that you've drank about 750 milliliters, and that will solve your water problem over the long run. And of course, it's nice to have an empty bottle on you. Like I kept the little water bottle on me, and now I've got 500 milliliters, okay, in the, in the bag there. So... Now that we've done mission one and we've and we've got to 40 fame again, because I'm close to the trader, guys, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do, buy the hiking backpack right now. Okay, I'm close to a trader. If I wasn't close to a trader, I'd do another mission. Okay, but a lot of the cooking missions I want to do in the center of the map. So again, do the missions whatever comes more naturally for you, wherever you are. So you might be in the snow. Okay, then you have to search all the logs, and maybe the trader is close to you. Maybe you're in the center, and you don't want to go to a trader just yet. Then you can cook the food and everything which we are going to do when we are in the center of the map. Okay, so let's get to the trader. Just like in real life, you have to compare prices, okay? Look for the best price you can get on any item. So, when we get in here and we type in hiking, you will see that the prices are 1,900 average, 1,950, okay? But when we go to the general store, and yes, they camouflage hiking backpacks, guys, but still, as long as you blend in with your background, welcome, welcome. it's fine. Feel free to so browse when we go ads. here, you will see that it's half the price, and you can still get a light green one or a dark green one, which will be enough for camera, okay? So... Shopping around for items, definitely, definitely worth it. So we're going to buy this um, directly from the bank. So there we go. And this is going to open up. This is a big, big, big step up, guys. If you just look at the inventory space difference here, you guys will see what I'm talking about. It's an extremely so, big difference. What will it be? With inventory space. Okay. I'm going to sell this backpack. And I'm a little bit hot where I am. So now that I've got the hiking backpack, I can light, you know, I don't have to, I don't have to wear clothing that I don't want to wear. And of course, I, I could have made a bigger quiver a while ago from a puppet. That's actually embarrassing that I haven't made a bigger quiver. But again, I'm so focused on the missions that I don't um, think about everything. But again, this is giving us four heat. We can, you know, we can just put it in our in our backpack if we're getting too hot, okay? Now we're looking nice and cool, man. Nice and cool. And again, I killed a puppet, crafted two bow needles, and converted both of them into sewing kits because I want uh, my shoes are getting destroyed so i want to keep everything you know high durability my gloves are being destroyed i want to keep that high durability as well because when the gloves break i'm going to get hand abrasions and when my shoes break okay i'm going to get trench foot and that's not very very good so i have to remind myself to make a bigger quiver which is very very easy with a sewing kit basically one skin you know just one puppet skin a cutting tool and the sewing kit. So that's really, really good. And I can buy food here. Okay. I can Here's buy any I've food got. here. But if I'm going to buy food, I'm going to buy it for a specific reason. So I, th I know I need vitamin D. And the B12 is getting low. Okay. So I'm going to buy cornflakes. And then... Corn I don't think cornflakes is going to help me with vitamin D. I know... But I know the bass is going to help me with the vitamin D. Okay, so I'm going to buy cornflakes here. So I'll rather cook food, guys, than um, buy it. The only reason I'm buying food is because I need a specific vitamin. Okay, that could be a little bit complicated. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the fishing, the fishing dude. If I can find the fishing dude. I think the fishing dude is down there. Yeah, I think the fishing dude is down here. There's the fishing dude. 
Okay. We're going to go down to the fishing guy. Although I don't think he sells fish. Can you just check here? Ahoy there. No, he doesn't sell food. He doesn't sell food. Pleasure, and again, she can't, she can't do anything here, but still I can kill her. Slow and steady now. I can still kill her for that skin that I just told you guys about. Okay, and I can grab the arrow there if I'm scared of losing the arrow. I'm supposed to be able to grab the arrow. There we go. And now I can chop her up. I don't get, I don't get skill points for this, guys. But I can still use her resources. So now because of her skin, I can craft the animal quiver. Which is going to give me double this amount of slots. And I want to start using the, the wooden arrows again. Because it is the fastest way to level up archery. Yes, you know, if I see a person... I can grab the broadhead carbon arrow, but I've got a pistol with me in any case, which I'm going to buy a magazine for now. But I mean, you can load, you can load one, you can load one bullet, in, okay? You can load one bullet into it. So you can still use the pistol against the person. So there, I'm going to put that there. And of course, making a noise, also an easy way of attracting puppets to you. Okay. So, let's go look for the fish quickly. I think the bar lady sells all the... All the meat and fish, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's go to the bar lady. Apparently, she sells everything. This is an all-in-one mum. All-in-one mum saloon. So, I'm going to buy bass. I'm going to buy bass. And I can cook this, but I'm just going to eat it raw for now. Hit me up when you need a refill, sugar. My pleasure, darling. Um, so I'm going to eat this raw for now. Where is it? You want something to drink or something to eat? Not now, darling. Okay, so I'm going to eat all. Just watch the food repulsion there. Food repulsion isn't bad. It's giving me protein. You know, very high on protein, which is very, very good. And we just have to check the vitamin D and B12. Oh, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up if I if I don't stop eating there. The food repulsion all, almost hit max, guys. So there we see we're getting vitamin D and we're getting vitamin um, B12. Okay? So that's why I say I would... I would eat certain things for certain reasons, okay? But we can make a fish cure now, so that's what I'm going to do. I haven't made a fish cure in a while, so I'm going to buy... You want something to drink or something to eat? I think I ate all the fish, so I'm going to buy two bass here because I want to make a fish cure. European fillet. I don't really care. I'm going to buy two, two bass fillets to show you, you guys the, fi round, the fish cure yeah. as well, okay? And then I'm going to sell my things because, because I, I, I played around with the sentries, it is quite easy for me to fully equip my gun. Welcome, now. welcome. Feel free to browse around. So I'm just going to sell things here. The mask is 145. That's good. Uh, the raincoat 166. You can get them very, very easily, guys. You can get a raincoat very, very quickly. So I'm just going to sell whatever I can sell here. Um, I like that jacket, but it's not very practical. I like that it has the amount of slots that it has, but it's not very practical. So I'm going to sell that as well. I'd rather use that jacket if I want to. So we're going to sell that. Okay. And now we're going to try and equip the... Not try, we are going to fully equip the pistol. So that we can actually kill someone if we run into them or defend ourselves. What's up? If you're trying to rob the police, mm. I guarantee you I'm well armed. No, I don't think this is going to be that easy. I can do a backpack, but I don't think I can do anything else. Block. 
No, the magazine is 120. Okay, so we have to find the magazine. Oh, my word. Equip a pistol fully. Okay, so I thought we weren't going to have to search for things, but this is another one where we're going to have to search for things, guys, which is quite funny. VHS magazine. It's not too bad. Like, now that you know that you have to go up to, you know, that you have to go up to this um, amount with fame, it's things that you have to consider. Like, selling a magazine is not a great idea anymore because there's going to be a time period before you can buy it. And again, I'm not going to pick olives any longer than I have so far. So, okay. We're going to need to get a magazine. And now, I think that this is a perfect time to show you guys those locations where there aren't any sentries. Okay? So, we got the tinder. We have to cook a vegetable skewer. Cook a meat skewer. I'm going to cook a, a fish skewer for you as well. Craft improvised backpack. Um... Which we can do. We can craft the improvised backpack, but we've got the money for a hiking backpack. So it's going to be a bit of a waste. All I can do is get the resources so that I could have done it. Okay? So I must get the resources for all of this. So I must collect five dirty rags from a puppet. I must get two puppets at the same area so that both their skins are at the same place. Have two ropes. So, you know, just so that I could have, I'll show you guys that I could have crafted this improvised backpack if I didn't have the money for the hiking backpack, okay? And then um, craft the, a metal spear. That will be quite easy. And I want to show you guys that the metal spear is quite effective at the moment. And then craft the improvised bulletproof vest. So that, that we have to do, which we need three skins for. Okay, so we need six bolts and four scrap metal. The scrap metal is quite easy in the trader zone because you can search the cars in the trader zone, okay? So there's two scrap metal. And there's four scrap metal, okay? Scrap metal sh shouldn't be a problem when you're at the trader zone, guys. So let me get into the center of the map and let's crush these missiles. Almost ran out of fuel there, guys. That would have been extremely embarrassing. But now that I've got my card with me, I can fill it up. And yes, I should have deposited the money, but it won't make any major difference in the game at the moment. Although, yes, it would have made a major difference because now I can't do a sector respawn if I die. So depositing the 600 bucks that I had would have made a major difference. In case I die, because if I die now, I can't respawn in the sector, which will be quite bad, okay? So, um, it just, I, I'm going to craft some wooden arrows, guys, and farm my archery skill on these guys, okay? Let's get to the cooking. Actually, I'm going to craft the metal spear right now, guys, and then I'm going to craft the improvised um, backpack. Okay, I, I'll, I'll craft it. It's part of the mission. I'll do it, okay? Just to get me used to the the what I have to do. Like, if I die now and I don't have enough money for a backpack, or if I literally die now, I'll, I'll have to random respawn, you know, then I'll have to um, get much faster with doing all the steps that we've already done. And crafting this backpack is a very, very important step. So I'm going to craft the... Um, 
the spear right now. And the, the metal spear is very, very easy. One scrap metal, one long stick, one rope. Again, I don't want to use the thread. And I'm going to click on the rope now so that I don't use the thread because I don't want to use the thread. Okay? So I'm going to craft the rope. And when you've got various things in your inventory that a crafting recipe can use, rather tell it what to use, that it ju doesn't just use whatever it wants to use, okay? So for the metal spear, it's strap, stick, rope, okay? So it's rope, strap, um, stick, and that. And now I can make improvised metal spear. And now I'll give you guys a nice, nice little tutorial on the spear, which I already did with the cleaver, but I haven't used the spear since they changed the mechanics of the spear, so I want to see what it looks like as well. So now we're going to equip the spear. And again, crafting the this, which we are probably going to craft a lot, only takes two skins. There's three puppets in there. So there's two skins in there. They're going to drop clothing that's going to give us five rags. And then we need two rope. But we can cut up their clothing for rope as well. Okay. And then it needs a sewing kit. So what I'm rather going to do is... I just have to add this to my quick slot because the saw is very important. And we can buy a saw again. I'm going to rather cut the bush up with the saw. Because the great thing about a saw is... When you cut up a long stick, you get five sticks from that. Okay, so I already know this is a rope right here. Because it's going to give me five sticks. I already know that's a rope. And I can just go to another bush, process that long stick, and craft two ropes very, very quickly. Instead of having to chop up the puppet clothing, and then chop up the rags into rag strips, and then process the rag strips into rope, I just feel this is a lot easier so i think that's why i've always stuck to tree bark rope instead of using the um, improvised rope i just feel tree bark rope is a lot easier for me personally and you can craft tree bark rope in the forest where if you want to cut up clothing from puppets you probably have to do it in a dangerous area where there are puppets and there could be players there so i think that's why i lean towards um the, the tree bark rope okay so let's see what this what the spear what the spear mechanics work how the spear mechanics work i'm going to take on three puppets here so it's it's rumble i've got high stamina stamina it affects how hard you hit so they are going backwards which is nice they are going backwards which is nice. That's nice. That's really nice. That's nice. Nice and controlled. And the spear animation takes very long, you know. So, very, very nice to time that. Of course, these two puppets are lying very, very close to one another. So, of course, I'm going to search the two of them. And, of course, you can, you know, you can move to where you want the puppet to die. So, if I focused on puppets being close to each other, I would have just walked in a circle, come backwards, and let her die closer to where I want her. Okay? So, yeah, let me just mark it down here. It's good to mark it down. I've got that. Uh, I'm going to craft the improvised backpack now. Um, I've crafted the metal spear. I've got the fame. I bought the hiking backpack. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've finished half the missions already, which feels really, really good. And I'm going to I'm gonna use the, the hatchet. just feels better chopping up things with the hatchet. A lot of you guys in the comments would say, no, Thais, it's easier to cut through the bone with a saw. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. So let's pick up the skin over here. And there's the other skin. Okay, so... We need five rags. So I can cut out the clothing. Okay. 
And of course, scissors is very, very important. Scissors gives you the most amount of rags when you're cutting something up. So those are three rags. I'm sure she'll give us more clothing. Hopefully. Yes, she gave us another pair of... She gave us a pair of pants. So I can just come here. Doing all this at the gas station isn't the safest, guys. But, uh... You decide how safe you want to do things. Of course, I'm doing a tutorial. You know, I won't do, I won't really do this at a gas station where someone can shoot me or someone could come here to fill up gas and they see me working on stuff like that. So there's the five rags. And there we go. We've got the five dirty rags. We've got the two puppet skins, the two rope, the sewing kit, and the, you know, and that. So we have crafted the improvised backpack now. And that takes one skin and a rope. So that's even easier. Okay. That's even easier than what we just did. I think I'm going to do that right now, actually. Get it over and done with. Yeah. Pick the list off. Okay, there. We don't need it. We're going to leave it there as a present for someone. Right? Okay. They're going to say, wow, this is, this is a kind person. Gonna put it right there. I'm doing it on true immersion, so hopefully somebody appreciates that. And then I'm gonna chop up this woman here, so that I can take her skin. I'm going to take her skin with me. There we go. We've got her skin. And again. I like the bush thing with the saw, guys. And of course, if the saw breaks, I can just buy a new one. Or I can, like, get um, get a toolbox. You can sharpen the saw with the toolbox at a workbench. But we're not going to go into that right now. We're going to craft the... Again, the saw is great for just getting five sticks really, really quickly for that rope. Really, really excellent for that. And like you guys see, we're doing good, man. It's day two. Look what we look like. We're doing good. So there's the rope. And now we can craft the water skin, which is very, very easy. And I'm going to fill the water skin up and find out exactly how much the water skin holds. I think I've forgotten how much the water skin holds. But that is off the list. Are we going to, are we going to run through this quite quickly? Today's going, to be, today's going to be a good day with what we're busy with here. Okay, so there's the water skin that we can fill up. That's excellent. Now let's go cook that food, man. Okay, guys. Sorry, my luck hasn't changed yet. You can see there, 40, 45 fame. Even when you collect food, it's helping you with your fame as well. Okay? <clears throat> so remember that. We want to make... We want to get, get a farm up at our base area at some point because a farm is really, really easy for fame. But, you know, as you do things naturally, if you search for three three vegetables on a regular basis you search every log you run past and you just play the game naturally you will get there the thing is if you're playing on a very highly populated server you could die regularly regularly if you had as adventurous as me and you put yourself in dangerous situations all the time so 
once you die regularly and you just feel like you've got very bad luck, really start focusing on that farm. Okay, putting a farm up, which we are going to do in this series. I'm going to show you the perfect size farm um, for fame. Okay. Because I just like doing shopping when I'm going to cook something, something good. I just like role playing a little bit, you know, going to the trader, getting the items that I need. And I mean, the, the potatoes that we're going to grow is still a very, very good resource. But yeah, we will solve the problem soon. And uh, yeah, looks like I'm still on a very bad run. I like to look at the, again, if I double click, oh, it does auto fit now. That is a new feature that they brought into the game because previously you'd have to drag it in here for it to fit. But since the last hot fix, you can just double click it and it will auto rotate to get a space there. That is that is a really nice quality, yeah. Not really, really nice feature. I did read it in the patch notes, um, but I haven't tested it yet. So yeah, that works brilliantly. You don't even have to drag it in there, you just double click and it auto fits itself. Things are getting easier and easier, man. Easier and easier. And we have to we have to give credit where credit is due, guys. So I know there's potatoes down that road. So I'm just gonna get one potato because you can use corn or potato, and the corn isn't um, working out for me right now. Although I haven't searched these yet. And I like to look at the base. I like to look at the base of the corn. Just so that I can search it much, you know, much easier. If I look down at it, it's much quicker for me to search it. And um we can find one. The corn will save us a bit of time, yeah? But it does look like the corn wants to save us time. Oh, I really want to hunt that. I really want to hunt that boar right now. But that is not in today's missions. That's why you have to watch day three. Okay? Because day three, I'm probably going to show you how to hunt, which is extremely easy once you know the concept. Once you know the concept. And these potatoes are really, really close, guys. I'm not even going to cut the video yet. I'm not even going to cut the video yet. Okay, this is where we are. Right here on this flat road here next to this factory. And I'm just going to jump over that hill right there. And there's going to be potatoes on the other side. I tell you guys easy peasy man and these are the things that you're going to learn with the scum map and with exploring with building bases at various locations once you build a base you always get very used to what's around you so when you build bases at a new location on the map every single time it will give you a very very good understanding of the map itself knowledge map knowledge because you you tend to loot the places around your base quite often some people just loot the areas right around their base and again if you build bases in, on various areas you know what's around your base and i have built a base here and that's why i know what's around my base because i use the scum map tool that will show you within a certain radius, you know, what resources do you have close to your base. But I'll show you how that works as well. And yeah, we're still quite unlucky here. But we're just looking for one potato. We know it's going to happen, guys. I mean, come on, it's vanilla loot. It's vanilla loot. It's going to happen, okay? There's no way that we're not going to find a potato. Okay, my bo my bike isn't parked on the best location in the world. So rather just want to hide the bike here quickly. And then we're going to do two missions very, very quickly. And technically, to make a meat skewer, you need meat. Technically, you me need meat. So, day two needs a hunting tutorial. If you got, do you guys agree? 
How am, how am I going to make a meat skewer without meat? And I can't cheat and say a fish skewer is a meat skewer. I need meat. And I didn't buy meat at the... You know, I didn't buy the meat at the trader. So we're going to have to hunt, guys. So let's go find that freaking boar, shall we? Uncut, unedited, unscripted. Let's do this. Although... The board did make a sound a while ago. So we have to get this first clue really, really fast. Really, really, really fast. I think the board, the, the first, first clue was up here. So the thing with hunting is there is no animal. There is a sound. And the sounds are the, in, the di in, the, in the exact direction of, your, of the clues that you need to collect. And after a, a number of clues, then you will get to the animal. And only then will the animal spawn, guys. There is no animals on the map. You have to do the mini game, which I'm going to show you how to. I'm going to show you how to play the mini game. It's very, very easy. Very, very, very easy. I'm a pro at this. Okay. Now that we don't hear the boar. I don't exactly know where my boar went. Well, I'm liking the spear, man. The spear is working out very, very nicely. And we know that sells for um, good money. And you can get a lot of rags from that. So I won't call it good money, guys. Like 160 bucks is nothing. Okay, and we can get a ton of rags from a raincoat. Okay, I think our boar left. Or I moved. No, I moved too far away. From it. And I can show you this in server settings. I can show you how it works. Okay, now it's in world. There. So, hunting failure time. If you don't find the next clue, or if you don't find the clue after you hear the animal within three minutes, it's usually two minutes and 30 seconds. I just made it around three minutes. Yeah, to give my my players a little uh, you know a little bit more time and then failure distance okay if you do not minimum distance to animal player need to have for the hunt to be considered valid in meters so i moved 300 meters away from where i heard the boar so then the hunt fails so if you've got an animal like you're looting a town and you've got an unanimal that's 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 irritating the poop out of you, okay? Especially those chickens or whatever animal, okay? Don't know what animal irritates you, but a chicken irritates me all the time. That's why you should go and kill it, okay? But if you're an animal and you don't want to hear the animal anymore, just run away from it about two, three hundred meters and then come back, okay? And the animal, the animal won't bother you anymore. But clearly we need to look for an animal now because we can't do a meat skewer without meat. And I'm sure this won't take long. I'll be back now. Just a quick tip here for you guys, for people that struggle to find bolts. Bolts, you're going to need a lot of when you upgrade your base to metal. Bolts are is in any work area. Any area that looks like a work area, that's where you find bolts. And garages, of course. Okay? But if you want to find a lot of boxes of bolts... Like, I just found a box of 19 bolts. If you want to find a lot of them, work areas, okay? Place where you see people are, are working. That's where you're going to find a lot of bolts. And I just found it on the shelf. It was literally just lying on the shelf. And nails, okay? And yeah, I'm just taking my time here, guys. I haven't heard an animal yet, but I can, I can jog. I can jog through the map all day long do we have screwdrivers no we don't have screwdrivers yet we don't have enough screwdrivers for a cargo drop and of course there's a lot of people on the server that have already got vehicles so don't want to mess with them just yet i'll compete when i'm ready to compete but yeah i can do this all day guys and i'm using the wooden arrows now I just put the I just put the other arrows in my pants so that it can prioritize those arrows. And yeah, when I get when I get to twelve feathers, 
I'm gonna craft metal arrows with scrap metal and the toolbox. Now I'm running out of inventory. <laughs> now I'm running out of a bit of inventory space. Um, but again, I have to prioritize. That is not a priority. Uh, scrap metal is not a priority at the moment because I can get that anywhere, anytime. But the toolboxes is quite a priority for many, many reasons. Um, so... Let me keep searching for an animal. It's right there. Can you believe it? It is right there. And I always say in my guides, if it's right there, go for it. I mean... But risking my life for one locker because I've only got one screwdriver, that's not worth it, guys. That's not worth it. So, yeah, we've been walking quite a while. Okay, we came from, we are here, we walked all the way here, and, um, oh, I want to fill up the water, I want to fill up the water, the water skin, to see how much water the water skin holds. I was wondering, why am I, why am I coming here? Yeah. See how much water this water skin holds. Oh, and the bed, and the bed. Yeah, I'm thinking of different things, guys. I ju I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fill your heads with a lot of tips. Okay, just gonna fill you with the heck of a lot of tips. So I want to see how much water this water skin holds. Fill the water skin. Now I want to. Drink all. Let's see what happens here. I won't be able to drink all of it, but I'm going to stop when I'm at 50%. When I'm at 50% of the bottle. And that is 750 milliliters. Okay, so it's like a canteen. It's like a canteen, it just takes up four slots. Yes, I know the canteen doesn't take up four slots. It gives you a little gap here at the bottom. But I'd rather have things in my inventory that do fill up the slots, yeah? Rather than give me these weird spaces. Yes, you can fill things in there with weird spaces. But a water a water canteen is great, guys. Uh, improvised, yeah? Improvised water container is great. And the, the, the exhaustion is bothering me a bit. Okay, the energy deficiency is bothering me as well. And I mean, I have found food while I'm running around, but I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat this so long. I'm going to eat the corn again. They said the corn is going to fix my vitamin D. I, and I honestly, to be honest with you, I can't remember if the corn is very, very powerful for, for the vitamin D. I don't think it's extremely powerful. I think it gives you a little, a little bit. Let's see how... Okay, it's staying, it's staying, but the thing is, how long is it going to stay? That's the thing. We were at about four milligrams or micrograms. We were at four micrograms of vitamin D. But the intake that says 75 micrograms per hour, that intake is going to disappear way before the corn is out of my system. Way, way, way before the corn is out of my system. But... Just for just for research purposes. And of course, we are here to teach. Yeah, I'm here to teach you guys and um I want to you know carry over my information to you guys. And of course, there's a lot of things that I don't that I don't look at every single day. So we were at four micrograms. We ate an entire box of cornflakes. Like I say, that intake rate of 75 is gonna disappear at some point. Way before the cornflakes disappears out of our system. But let's see how many micrograms a box of cornflakes can give can give you when it comes to vitamin D and vitamin B12. Okay, quite a lot. That that those corn that cornflakes is filling up a lot of things. Okay, let's just see. We were at four micrograms. This is looking very, very good. 
we could have looked at the box of cornflakes because it has 10 uses and then we could have just hold our control key on the box of cornflakes and see what's the total amount that it will give us. So let's say it said one microgram of vitamin D per use. Because there's 10 uses, that means 10 micrograms of vitamin D. But yeah, I think I'm not... Milky, milk definitely doesn't give you this much vitamin D. I'm thinking corn flakes is the way of the future. Like, I don't know if you guys have watched The Aviator. The way of the future. The way of the future. The way of the future. I think corn flakes is the way of the future with vitamin D. That is already 10 micrograms. Okay, it gave us 10 micrograms of vitamin D. Okay, so that's about one microgram per use of cornflakes, which is really, really good. Really, really, really good. Oh, and the other thing that was bothering me is the exhaustion. I'm at C2 exhaustion now, okay? The consumption is giving me 5.7 stamina units per hour, and I need to regain 4.1 stamina units to get rid of my exhaustion. So that's not going to be, that's going to be, it's going to take me about 20 minutes. If I don't do anything else, it's going to take me 20 minutes to recover that. But I think I've got a much better idea. Because I have to do something in the house quickly. And th guys, taking half an hour break is not bad. Stretch your legs, you know. Spend some time with your family. Spend some time with your dog. Just do something else for 30 minutes, okay? You're not going to die. I promise you, you're not going to die. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see if there's a, there used to be a bed up here. I can sit as well. No. They, they, guys, I don't know if there was a bed up there, but there could be a bed up there, okay? I just don't know where this guy's sleeping. Where is this guy sleeping? I don't know. So we're going to rest here on the couch. Okay. And then that's going to give us six stamina units. Okay. So this should be done. That's about 12 stamina units that we're gaining there. And we need to regain 12. So about 20 minutes. I'm going to come back after 20 minutes, guys. So I'm going to log out now. I'm going to press escape. I'm going to, while I'm sitting here on the couch. Okay. I'm going to press escape. I'm going to go... Not quit game, main menu. There's a two minute waiting timer, which is fine. So I'm just going to wait for the two minutes to go by. And then I'm going to come back in exactly 20 minutes. And um, my exhaustion should be cured. And like I say, you know, I've, I've left this up until exhaustion C2. So for health reasons, stand up, stretch your legs, walk, do something, okay? It will be good for your health as well, and it will be better for your character's health. We'll be back right now, and then we'll have to walk around once again to search for that animal that we have to hunt. Okay, I have just logged in, um, spent some time with family for about 22 minutes, and... That did not work at all. <laughs> so the chair seems to not be working. But I do know a bed works, guys. I feel we 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 rested long enough. Um for all the stamina units to be back. But okay, so we're learning. Okay. A uh, bed is much, much better. So in any case, let's go find that animal, shall we? Okay. We have heard an animal in this direction. The clue will be directly where the sound comes from. Yep. I think it comes directly from... That direction. So now you have to hold in your focus mode, guys. 
And I'm just seeing what I'm doing this with. Let's just see what I'm doing this with. I'm doing this with not even basic awareness and basic survival. Okay? So if I can do it with almost no awareness and basic survival, anyone can do it. I'm gonna hold in my focus mode. Focus where the sound comes from. Get a mushroom. We need mushrooms for cooking, but not those. Those are poisonous. The sound is very, very... Sound is quite soft with the low awareness skill. Okay, sounds louder, so it should be very close to it should be very close to us. So we're looking for the clue. Should be about here because that's where he turned us around. Should be somewhere here. So it's a bit more challenging. I like it, and a lot of people that have followed my how to hunt guide have said because of my tips, they can do it with low awareness and low survival quite easily, but I'm struggling here. I'm always honest with you guys, I am struggling here. It's a donkey, but it, the, the donkey sounds so far away. According to me, the sound comes from there. So it must be in this line. It must be in this line. Still in this line. I'm sure the sound's coming from here. But I am definitely struggling, no doubt about that. I think I've walked past the clue again. I won't be surprised if the sound comes from behind us now. Because according to me, I've walked, I've jogged way too far past, past it. Like the clue's supposed to be there somewhere. I'm not picking up a clue because of my awareness and survival skill. It's almost been six minutes. Yeah, we're on seven minutes now since we've heard the first sound. So according to me, the hunt should have been over. Yeah, no, we've walked, we've walked past the clue. We walked way past the clue, guys. Like I say, the clue is usually about 100 meters away, and I'm not finding it. So that is quite interesting. That's a normal mushroom. Okay. Wanted to say, why didn't it disappear immediately? I'll get one more mushroom, why not? Okay, there we've got two normal mushrooms. But I'm not one to give up, guys. I am not one to give up. But like I said, I can do this. 
literally. You can you can hold in shift and press W to auto walk. Remember the mouse scroll wheel. You scroll the mouse wheel forward to move faster and you scroll wheel backwards to move slower, okay? I think next time I'm walking, maybe jogging is a little bit too fast to see the clue when your skills are so low. So I definitely think I'm going to walk next time. But again, I want to multitask. So I'm going to get the bike. I'm going to go to the shooting range, which is a military point without sentries. Then I'm going to go there, which is a military point without sentries. And then when I'm done here... That is another point, but hopefully we get what we want at these two military points. But we've always got that bunker as an option, and that bunker isn't very big. So let's see how it works out. And I was thinking about the fame, guys. If I get killed by a player, I've got a golden rule. If I get killed by a player, I never go back for my loot, okay? He deserves to get everything he wants. If he messages me and he's a nice guy and he tells me I can go, come and fetch my loot, you know, then I'd maybe ch change my mind. But overall, every time I die, I just start a brand new adventure. But this is one of the military points you're at the shooting range okay one of the military points that you don't that you don't deal with sentries and it's got two towers which is nice and yeah if we if we find another pistol we could use it for parts but i mean this pistol is very high durability i don't like to use anything below 70 percent, but anything above 70 percent is fine for me and again, we've got a crazy, crazy person over here, which we have to look out for. Two bullets, not worth it for me. There's the, there's the suicide puppet. Okay, sorted him out. He's the biggest threat. So yeah, you search the tables. Okay, you, you check the tables. There's usually loot on top of the tables. Then you just check these two towers quickly. Just press tab. See there's nothing major in there. Search this tower. See that there's nothing major in here. In here. I just run off. And then there's tents above here. Up here is tents. Okay, here are the tents. So we just want to look inside the tents quickly. Sort out the puppet threat. There we go. Press tab because items can't glitch through the floor here. You see? Okay, you could see the you could see the ammo there. And I put on my jacket just to have more inventory space. Okay, that's the first tent. Get my arrows back. See if he can maybe give me a screwdriver or something. And no need to fear the, the slow ones. It's these fit ones and the thin ones that you need to fear. The thin ones are faster than the fit ones, but the fit ones can still pose a danger. But all the bigger ones are very easy to dodge and maneuver out of their shots. Okay. We're just going to check inside here. There's the MP5 suppressor. That is very, very important. Another chocolate. But again, don't like eating stuff that are bad. 
I want to make sure that's everything. Press B to unequip your arrow. Because if you press B to equip your arrow, you zoom in. Press V again to zoom out. So yeah, just three. Just three tenths. There's a water canteen for us, but we've got a water skin, so that's fine. Okay, we didn't get lucky with anything there. And the next place is very, very close, guys. I'm not even going to skip to the next place. Quick little tip. I just got five feathers from these chicken coops. And remember, you can get eggs in these chicken coops. If you want, yes, you can buy eggs. But if you want to find eggs, you can find eggs in these chicken coops, okay? Just found five feathers in these chicken coops. You open the door, press tab. Stand against the door, press tab, okay? And you take whatever they've got inside them. There we go. Take out my pistol just in case. You can already see something on the tables there. Interesting. Portable stove and a pan. Nice. I haven't seen that before. Sunglasses that will make us look cool, although the sunglass takes off our night vision. Uh, food, ammunition. Okay, nothing here. Bottle of alcohol. Oh, nice. Bedroll, that's what we need. But that removes our quiver. That removes our quiver. Interesting. Don't think we have enough space for this thing. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So we're going to take the bedroll with us. This time we'll be able to sleep properly. Not like last time. So yeah, don't need to look for a bed when you've got a bedroll. Okay, that's nine more ammo. We've already got a waste bag. We've already got a helmet. Yes, we can repair it, but our inventory space is too bright. That's a brand new box. That's a box of ammo, nine more ammo, which will be very, very handy. Check if there's anything there and there. Hmm. A lot of cooking equipment, yeah? Okay, guys that is a natural point to go to next okay but we're gonna do the bunker okay the bunker is not gonna be that bad let's go do the bunker that's a svd magazine Again, we have to try and figure out what we're going to do here. I've got the pistol, so I don't feel... Okay, that skin, that puppet skin we can throw away. Put the night vision off. We're going to open up one of the lockers, why not? We've got four screwdrivers on us. Okay, I didn't know we had four screwdrivers on us. Okay, didn't get the right magazine there. And we've got a lot of stuff on us that we don't need to have us on us at the moment, guys. 
So, if you guys need a tip with lock picking, oh my word, I just found a rocket launcher. My first rocket launcher ever. Oh my freaking word. My first rocket launcher ever. I can only shoot it once. But I found it, baby. I found it, baby. My first rock launcher ever. That is brilliant, man. Did we get a shotgun? That's even better than a pistol. So, going good, going good. And I mean, you can decide now. Do you want to use the bow or the spear? Okay, I'm gonna use the. I'm gonna use the. I'm gonna use the bow. You can decide to use the spear. Okay, it's all up to you. And we're gonna grab this free rocket launcher. I don't even know how much it sells for, but I know I can destroy something with it. That's cool, guys. We just found an AT4 rocket launcher. Freaking awesome, man. Okay, but again, we didn't find what we were looking for. So we gotta search for what we're looking for. Because that we're gonna find a magazine in the toilet is quite quite low. Quite low. Uh see backpack. We didn't get a backpack last time. Another night vision. Oh my wordy word. Oh my wordy word. Now it's getting very difficult, guys. Okay, we already did that. We don't need to do that again. That's low. That's a low amount of ammo. Uh, the corn and everything. Okay, guys, we did not find a uh, block magazine, but we're going to get rid of this um the, these vegetables that we have on us okay so mission number two is uh, cook a vegetable skewer that's what we're gonna do right now okay again the saw is priceless did i get rid of the tender tinder did i get rid of the tinder i think i got rid of the tinder okay but in any case um we make a fire okay and we need tinder we need tinder so i think we have to craft tinder now yeah look how look how long it takes to craft this tinder guys instead of just chopping down those dried out logs but of course it only takes one small stick okay so if you're willing to wait wait but if you've got inventory space don't wait and of course, every bush gives you two small wooden logs, which you can use to fill the fire. So, just going to complete the fire with the tinder, add the small wooden log. There's two of them. Um, now I can light the fire, okay, because I've got matches on me. Now I can put the night vision off. And now we can press F on it to cook. And we're going to cook a vegetable skewer, which needs a normal mushroom that won't poison you. And it needs um, three vegetables, which we got. We don't have salt and black pepper on us, but we can do that later. So we're going to cook that one. And then I'm somewhere going to do the, the fish one, which wasn't even part of the mission. And the fish need, just needs a piece of fish. The fish one just needs a piece of fish. Okay. Now you can see that time going down. And what we can do now is we can go onto the, onto the food and we can say, set the alarm for one minute. Uh, uh, notify me when it's one minute away from fully cooked okay because i've got the first dlc i've got a watch on me okay i've got a watch which you can get with the first supporter pack so i can just sit here now relax drink the rest of my water drink all okay and just sit relax you know regain a bit of my exhaustion and then um the alarm will go off when the food's ready or if you don't have the watch you can just wait as soon as this bar goes nice green then you can take the food off by just clicking there to cancel it okay 
and we're gonna have to refill this but it's already giving us a lot more inventory space I'm gonna throw the mushroom away because i'm not gonna do a skewer like that again i'm gonna put the glasses away because apparently you can't wear glass and night vision at the at the same time so that's wasting inventory space i've got a lot of nine more i've got a bunch of 45 so just checking here if i can save any space and what i can do now is while i'm waiting i can put down the bedroll and rest on the bedroll okay and if you rest on the bedroll then it's supposed to help you with your exhaustion But apparently, even lying down is not helping me with my exhaustion on a bedroll. That is weird. That is weird. But I mean, this exhaustion is only costing us five stamina units. It's not the end of the world. But I still don't know why the bedroll isn't helping us. That might be a bug. And since the bedroll isn't helping us... Um, I'm not going to use it because that's wasting inventory space as well. <laughs> so a lot of things that we don't have to use here. A lot of things that we don't have to use here. And I want to make, I want to make the, I want to complete the other mission as fast as possible. I've got enough bolts. I just need scrap metal. So I need to get to a place where there's cars so I can just get two more scrap metal quickly. And uh, because I only need three puppet skins. Okay. And three puppet skins will be very, very easy, as you guys know. And then I've got thread, I've got thread for Africa. So this alarm should go off right now when it hits one minute. Okay, then my watch alarm goes off, and it's in the green. Don't have to wait till it goes to the end. And I can just take it off. The only way you get perfectly cooked is if you use all the ingredients. Okay, so now I'm gonna eat all. And this is going to give us a lot of carbs. And like you guys know, you burn through your carbs before you burn through your protein. Okay? So you always want a bunch of carbs. Doesn't matter how much protein you have. You want a bunch of carbs to protect the protein. Because without protein, you're not building up any strength. And I'm going to end it there. Okay? Just do not go over the limit. I thought I'd have one... one one use left and i'm not even going to wait for the alarm to go off guys it's in the green i'm going to take it off poorly cooked okay that was a surprise surprise that it's poorly cooked it it does say meat skewer guys but it's not technically a meat skewer okay let's not cheat let's not cheat and it's going to give us protein, okay? It's going to give us quite a bit of protein. 35 grams. 35 grams of protein. And it's going to build up our vitamin D. Okay? It's going to build up our vitamin D and a bunch of other vit vitamins. The only ones that seems to be a problem is the B4. But meat will fix that. Canned pear, eggs, rosy meat. You know, meat snack, African boltong, baked meat. Okay, and then that one is spice mix, black pepper, cabbage. We can get cabbage easily. We can get ramsons easily. Ramsons is, there's a lot of ramsons on the map if you use scummap.com. And that's it. So we've got a lot, rid of a lot of inventory here. And now I'm going to be forced to drive all the way, all the way there, okay? If you don't have a bike like me, um, it's probably better for you to go to the airfield okay or it's better for you to go here actually it's better for me to go here and then there this is a train yard but it's got a military point and it's very easy to get in so i'm going to go to the train yard and then that military point um so let's go i don't care if people see the fire fire i'm out of here okay here we are at the train station guys very very easy to get in here okay very very easy to get in here just go up this road on the east side of it
There's other points you can loot as well, but these points are the best for me when it comes to military loot. Sentry's walking away from us. Just open this. Don't care about that sentry. I know you're not a people's person. And here, you can find military loot again. Okay? Very easy to get in there. That can sell for quite a bit. BMG rounds. Never leave BMG rounds, guys. They sell for, for quite a nice amount. And I mean, at the moment, we're looking for shotgun ammo and uh, block magazine. Okay? So we've got multiple reasons now to search these points. We, uh, we've we got enough bolts, but in case, we can maybe find the two scrap metal that we were looking for. Since this is a working area. I'm going to go third person for you guys, make it a bit easier. Oh, there's a mask. That mask might sell for something. You're going to press B, because when you're zoomed in like that, it makes it a bit weird. In case you guys are wondering where to get bolts. And that's why I like to play in first person. Because I don't have that zoom in problem. No military loot up there. But these green crates are great. Another night vision. Oh my word are we rich with night vision. Where did our previous... Oh, we've got two night visions. That is 3,000 bucks in the bank right there, guys. That is 3,000 bucks. I must say, the night visions... I'm getting... I'm getting a lot of freaking night visions. Okay, so now we're just going to... Jog behind this guy. We haven't got a high stealth skill. just that guy that's dangerous for us and then the sentry on this side can be dangerous as well let's check what he does and then we must go in here because the this place has got military loot as well and again you just take your time that's a pistol flashlight that we can put on the the block like I say, anything is good now. Shotgun ammo, block ammo. Just be careful when the sentry comes back. Because it can see over these windows. Just make sure it hasn't got direct line of sight of you. So I just like to go out here. Just to be on the safe side. Once it's past me, I feel a lot safer. There we go. Once it's passed me, I feel a lot safer. So, searching these boxes. Again, if we can find scrap metal, it will help. Okay. Now we are at this military point that's right next to the C3 town. Okay. And guys, the mission says get 40 fame. You can get 120 fame and go buy the magazine. Okay, because the mission is equip a pistol fully. That means the pistol, the magazine, and the ammo. Okay, so you can just grind to 120 fame, and then you don't have to do everything I'm doing here. This is just, you know, you're going to have to get used to the looting locations, okay, as you get on with the game. That's Metal Arrows, which is good, but again... It's not great for leveling up the skills. And I think I got rid of those other arrows as well, didn't I? No, I haven't got rid of these arrows, but it's fine. Um, okay, why am I so confused now? Yeah, okay, so I need to focus on the tents. Very weird that there's not a ton of puppets here. That is very, very weird. I think I'm going to take out the pistol. 
Because it's very, 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 very weird that there's not a, lot, a ton of poppers here. Very, very, very weird. There should be a ton of puppets outside. So my poop, my poop meter is already very, very high. My, there could be trouble, yeah. But like I say, you guys are gonna have to get used to dying regularly. At some point. That's an ammo box. That's 0.45 ammo. That's really, really good. We're just not getting the magazine. That is a suppressor for a AWM rifle, which is my favorite rifle. So really, really good. Never leave those behind. Those are worth gold and very expensive if you have to buy them. And again, nothing major here. Just very, very careful. Bad chips. Oh, that's MP5 magazine. Well, we got an MP5 suppressor. Now we've got an MP5 magazine. So now we only have to fire the MP5 and then we can load the 9mm ammo in the MP5 magazine. So that's really good. We are progressing. We are progressing. Nothing there. Another flashlight. Well, at least we're making money. Okay. We're always doing something. I doubt I'm going to find anything there. So again, I'm not going to waste my time. And we're going to have to do something very dangerous now, guys. The last point, there's a lot of points, military points without sentries, but there's three gun shops in the big city. And I'm going to go through the, to those three gun shops. And I'm going to go for a Dower Sword because it's just natural progression. And if I run into a brick wall, I'm going into the snow area and then picking every log in the snow area and hunting an animal in the snow where the grass and the bush bushes won't be able to hide the animal's um, clue that easily. So let's go. Big city, here we come. Okay, guys, we are here at the big city. I always like parking close to the um, insane asylum because I know how to figure out my route from the insane asylum. But I would not, if I was you guys, I would not be running around with all this loot on me at all. Okay, so what I would do is craft a box and bury the box. Okay, so I don't have two nails. That's the thing. I thought I had two nails, but that's why nails are quite important. I really thought I had two nails, but I don't have two nails. I've got the saw. Okay, I've got the saw. So I could I could put, again, I can get the rope and I get can get the planks. But I don't have an, another an, another nail. But having two nails on you and an axe or a saw that you can make rope and get planks from trees is very important if you don't want to lose the loot on you. Okay? I've got very, very, very valuable loot on me, which I can possibly lose, which is very, very dangerous. Okay? And I'm going to have to triple carry this rocket launcher now. Um... To spare some to spare some inventory space but when i get onto the bike i can't triple carry okay so i'm gonna have to make choices but for now i'm just going to show you guys the route quickly this route's very very important so here's the insane asylum okay i'm going to take the bow out because you're just faster with the bow so here it is i'm going to run past it to the back of it okay we are now at the southwest side. I'm going to get behind it on the north side. Until I get to the slabs. I'm going to show you what the slabs look like now. Not these slabs. I just want to make sure that I am on the right, right side of it. So when, are you, when you get these slabs, you know, which is basically on the north side of it. As soon as you get these slabs, then you follow the slabs. And night vision does help you a lot with the mist um, or the fog, whatever you want to call it, in the big city. So you just follow this, these slabs. I'm going to take out my pistol. I don't care. Okay, I can't triple carry. Can I put this in here? Yeah, I can put that in here. Okay, I'm going I'm to need 
I'm going to need the pistol now. Just in case I run into a person. Just crawling out this window. And right here is going to be the Dower Swords. The Dower Swords are worth a lot of money, so whether you choose to use the sword... Wait, there's a goat. There's a goat. Now we're going to go for it. Hunting in the city is a bit of a pain in the butt, guys. No, we're not going to hunt in the city. That goat is very, very clear, but there's the Dower Sword. Okay? And the Dower Sword is worth gold. So I'm going to have to make a choice now. It's not going to be an easy choice, but I'm going to have to make a choice. So I'm going to see how much space this takes. That takes a little bit less space, but it's still not great. Um, I'm going to have to ditch these arrows. I'm going to have to ditch those arrows. And I'm going to have to free up space here. It's as simple as that. That's, as, that's basically as simple as it is. I'm going to have to free up space. I'm going to have to put that there. I'm going to have to put that there. I'm going to have to put that there. And then there the sword fits in. That's 3,500 or you can use it for a melee weapon. It's completely up to you. Okay. And then you can search these boxes, which might give you another one. But they're not as common as they used to be. But still, you can find them in the box, the boxes. There's these boxes over here. And these two over here. Not the not the shoe boxes, the cardboard boxes, guys. Search the cardboard boxes. But like I say, they're not the dower swords aren't as common as they used to be. Okay? They definitely nerved that. Okay, well, the goat is the goat is on our way. The way that we have to go. Take out the bow. No, the bow. The bow. Where's our shotgun? We've got the shotgun. I'm gonna go directly to this gun shop. Here's the bar. Opposite of the bar is the gun shop. Again, I don't want to stuff around you. I want to get to the loot I want to get to. Just check if there's any puppets in here. I'm looking at the eye so that a puppet doesn't hit me in the back of the head. There's a car 98, 98%. Goodness freaking gracious me. See, now it's getting hectic. I'll put on a night vision again because you guys probably can't see anything. We just got a full car 98, guys, with the first gun shop while we are looking for a blocked magazine. If we die now, I don't care. It will, you know, no. A lot of people, when they die with this amount of loot on them, they will be sad, but I don't care. And now, what I'm literally going to do is I'm going to take this hiking backpack and I'm going to fill it up with loot. I'm going to literally carry this. I'm going to literally carry this this backpack around, guys. Mm, I'd love it if I could organize the loot a little bit better here. Can I do this? No, I can't do that. Put that in there. Yeah, because I can't use these guns, so it's fine. So I'm literally, literally going to save a lot of loot space like this. Okay? And I'm literally going to carry this hiking backpack with me. Put that in the hiking backpack. I'm going to put the bow there. I can always switch to the bow if I want to. I'm going to carry the hiking backpack in my hands. And now, now you're like, in this, this, people don't need to loot anymore. They just need to find you. Okay, you guys, you've got like almost 20k on you at this moment. Okay, and again, there's the puppet. Don't want to mess around with the puppet. Want to switch to my bow. Kill the puppet. Right click. 
taking hands. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. And I want to be running. If somebody shoots at me, I want to run away. Like someone has to kill me instantly. If they hit me and I limp, then I'm fighting. But if I can run, I'm running, guys. If I can run, I'm freaking running. What was that, though? What has happened there? Okay, that must be another bug that I'm not aware of, guys. This game has also got, always got a few bugs in it. But I've got no clue what happened there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I know exactly what route, what route I ran. I'm going to go... I'm going to run all the way back the exact same route. First see if the, if the backpack is where it was. I got my pistol in case something bad happens. Okay, so it isn't where it was. So for now, the backpack has disappeared. Okay. Which is something you have to make peace with. <laughs> Losing that amount of loot is no joke. But it's going to happen. It's an early access game. You guys have to grab your nuts or kahunas, whatever you want to call it, you know, and um, be sure that you can handle whatever comes your way. I'm going to try and fix the problem, guys, but even if I can't fix the problem, it's fine. It's fine. Yes, lost the rocket launcher. Yes, lost everything. It's not the end of the world. Now, let me just see what I can do. I want to get the exact point where I lost it. So I was around here. I think it disappeared around here. So then I want to go to... I want to wait. You know, I'm first going to log off quickly without waiting, waiting 120 seconds. Okay, and then I'm just going to go back in without waiting 120 seconds. So a quick log in and log out did not fix anything. No, does look like it fixed anything. So now I'm going to wait 120 seconds. Oh, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. So I waited 120 seconds and then I came back and it reappeared. Okay, so that's good news. That's good news. So I'm going to put it in my hand now. Put it on the ground. See if it's got all the loot still. Yes, it has. Okay, so waiting until your character, like the seconds it tells you to wait so that your character leaves the server, that is the answer. Okay, you wait until you've your character has left the server and then you come back and then you try and follow your your path that you were taking so but again even if i lost the backpack okay it wouldn't have matter, mattered to me there's people that lose vehicles you know people have lost millions worth of loot on this game but it doesn't happen often so it's not something that you have to focus on. But if it happens, try everything to fix it. And now that we've got the... Now that we've got shotgun ammo, 
we can defend ourselves now. Now we can actually load this box shot. Okay. Got a better weapon to defend ourselves with. And yeah, I'm putting more loot into the backpack that I nearly just lost. Okay, you guys can't see where my location is. I mar I chopped down a tree, okay, and then I put, it looks like you can't, I usually use like um, torches to mark the mark around the tree so that I know the bump of the chest will be in the middle of the tree. But um, I just put a bonfire right next to the tree so that, I've, so that I have an idea of where the middle of the tree is, okay? And now all I do is I see that there's 16 days, roughly two weeks. There's two weeks for this chest to expire, okay? So I want to write it down or I want to go mark it on my custom map on scummap.com. But for now, I'll just remember there's two weeks and then I hold in and I bury No, I don't bury it right now. I first put the backpack in there. <laughs> and then I bury it. Okay, so there's the little, there's the bump of it. And I'm going to leave this blueprint here. I'm going to destroy this one. I'm going to leave this blueprint here. Make a mark or... Open up the map, take a screenshot so that I know exactly. I can see my red marker on the map so that I know where I buried the chest. So I can open the map now, use the snipping tool, which is Windows key, shift, and S, okay, to open the snipping tool, snip the map, save that file as first chest, 15 days, okay, and under the screenshot, like, this is when the chest is going to despawn. But I know where the chest is on the map, and I know where the marker is. Now I'm going to go get the bike. And I'm going to go to the trader zone. Okay. And when you're done. You can just throw away the shovel. Remember every time you're at a water source. To fill all the, all the canteens and everything that you have. Okay. So I just filled up my water skin. I filled up that soda can with water. Because I already drank the soda can. And I filled my, my little 500 ml bottle with water. Okay, be sure to multitask when you can. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are now here at the dam. There is military loot inside there if you want to loot that place as well. Inside that hangar over there, okay, is or that factory building there. There's military containers, there's military containers on the roof at the back of the large dam building there's a ladder that you get onto the roof um and the inside the building there's a lot of loot as well okay but i am driving up the side of it with the bike to get to the trailer zone there's a zigzag path next to it you guys can see now okay there's the massive building there's you can see there's Military loot containers on the top. There's loot in the, inside there. There's loot there. There's uh, military loot containers on this on at the back of it on the corner. So there is military loot there that you can try as well. I'm just gonna go up the zigzag path to get to the traders. Okay, here we are. That was a really, really fun ride. And let's What's make up? money and deposit it. If you're trying to rob the police. 3,315, 1,095 bucks for one BMG round. Imagine five. Okay. We need that ammo. We need that ammo. We need that ammo. We need that. We need that. We don't need that. We want to use this, but we want to... Okay, I'm just going to sell this. Registered. <laughs> of course, the ammo no box is only 56%. That's why it's only, only no, going to go for 103. Security reasons. But if we unbox Obviously. the ammo, okay, if we unbox it, unpack it, 
then that's the ammo that we got out of it. Instead of getting just 103 bucks, we're getting 180 bucks. That thing registered. Okay. <laughs> kidding. No. Um, I want to use the hunter ammo. I'm a, I want to keep that, the SVD. I've got a spare flashlight. Don't need that. I want to keep the suppressors. Those are very important. I want to keep that. I want to keep that. I want to keep the magazine. Okay. And we the have got 9,000 in the bank Obviously. without selling the other cool stuff that we got. I don't think I got any medical equipment, so it's not necessary for me to go to the medical one. But we might have... We might have a few things here that we can sell. Welcome, welcome. Check the Feel prices. Free to browse any around. prices that stand out to us. None of the pricing. Oh, that mask. That mask we can sell. We've got way too much rope on us, but that mask we can sell. Let's see what you have. Putting us on 9,000 bucks. Have a nice day. Greetings, valued customer. Now we're going to put in our penny correctly. Deposit. 9,148. Yes. Return. Eject card. Take the card. Put the pin in wrong. Put the pin in wrong. Leave the ATM. Okay. So, they, so that they only have one guess when they steal our card. Guys, you can go by. Again, you do these missions the way you want to. Any way you want to do these missions. But remember, you still have to fully equip a pistol. That is a must, okay? I'm not asking you to put a, a sight on the pistol or a suppressor on the pistol. I'm asking you to put a magazine with, you know, with, with rounds in. You have to fill up the, the pistol magazine. Whether that's an HS9, an M9, a Block, it doesn't matter. You have to have a fully equipped pistol on you to defend yourself. Yes, I can already defend myself with a shotgun, but that was not the mission. Regarding the meat, you can go to the saloon and go buy yourself a piece of meat if you want to, if you're struggling with the hunting. For the others that want to stick with me and learn as much as what they can, I am going to do the worst thing in the world. I've got 65 fame. I need to get to 120 fame to buy the magazine. So I'm literally going to go into the snow, although everyone just picks olives and everyone feels olives is the best thing to pick. I'm going to go into the snow biome now, guys, and loot every single log that I can see, okay? I'm going to literally go to 120 fame by jogging through the snow and looting any point that I want to loot. And yeah, our inventory is a bit, you know, our venture is a bit full here. And we can bury, we can bury a crate, but you guys don't have to worry about that, okay? Don't worry about that. The, within this guide, we're going to go through everything very smoothly. Unfortunately, once again, this mission has taken me much longer than I thought, and I've decided not to cut this. Anyone that's interested in learning this game, I feel all the time that I'm putting in is worth it. So I'm not going to edit this to death. I want you guys, I want to talk you guys through it. I want to tell you guys what I'm thinking. And I want this to be a proper guide, you know, for a very, very long time. Because I usually just do guides for the updates, you know, to whatever is new. Um, but I do feel this, this interactive guide will help a heck of a lot of players. And I do believe if you're interested in Scum, then you're going to play thousands of hours. So the hour or two hours that you spend on these videos... It's not that bad because you're probably going to take way longer to finish the missions than what you will spend watching these videos, okay? So these are for the people that really, really want to learn. Now, I'm just going to drive my bike into the snow, stop my bike somewhere because I have to stream in 20 minutes. And then when, you know, but I'm going to, I'm going to make sure I get this video out to you guys by tomorrow. But again, these missions... I, I like the, the complications that are that is going into the missions that I'm planning out ahead of time and that the Tech One company is giving us. Um, and, you know, if I don't upload the videos fast, just know that it's taking me quite some time to finish the missions. And hopefully, you know, 
you can share your experiences with me you know whether it took you no time to do it or whatever so i'm gonna go hide the bike start the stream and we're gonna do this before this video ends we're gonna do this Guys, just quickly, two major tips that I want to give you. I forgot that my um, dirt bike's going to run out of fuel. You don't have to refuel at the gas stations where you can get shot to death while you're stuck in the refueling animation, okay? You can simply come here and buy gas here, which is much safer and about roughly the same price, okay? So I'm going to buy this canister over here. I'm going to put it down, take it in my hands. Yeah, yeah. Go to the bike, pull fuel from container. See how much it gives me? Okay, that's a fair amount. I can go quite a distance with that and then maybe stop at a gas station later. Or I can just go and get another one. Welcome, stream. Prices are not negotiable. And then there's one other major tip that I want to give you guys. Have a nice Sure, I'm um, okay. Can go here. No loitering. Prices are not negotiable. Okay, this is just a plain example. Instead of going to the ATM, depositing your money at the ATM, and then putting the pin in wrong twice every single time, every time you sell something, you if can you just sell it that, directly to your you bank account. Give me good price. Then it goes directly into your bank account. Okay, so when you sell something. Whenever you go to sell, click your bank card so that the money goes directly to your bank card so that you don't have to go to the ATM and do the whole thing that I've been doing all the time. Every time you sell, I don't care how many Welcome things you sell. Stream. Prices go, are not negotiable. Okay, select the items that you want to sell. If you want me to buy that, and then click on the bank card. Give me good price. Okay, it's saying I'm going to get nothing for this. But in any case, you know. You can sell it like that. But at, at any trader, that will help you a heck of a lot to save a heck of a lot of time. Okay. Now, yes, we didn't get lucky with the magazine, but we can take things into our own hands and take luck out of the equation, depending on how passionate we are about a survival game and how committed we are to scum. Okay, so the hunt for the block magazine is continuing, guys. And yeah, Ripley's, believe it or not, instead of using olives, I'm going to try and use logs to get to the fame level. If I feel it's taking a bit too long, I can either go to the C2 bunker or the C1 bunker, okay? <clears throat> I'm not going to go to this disco area right here. But yeah, I was thinking about the video length. And I don't know how many of you guys have ever done the single player tutorial that Scum had in single player. That tutorial, even for an experienced player like me, took, a b took over a half an hour. And the things that they show there is very, very limited. So I'd rather take you guys through the story, through my thought processes, and a little bit more in depth um through this interactive guide and the uh, day one just got po you know just got positive um, feedback from you guys which i'm very very happy with so i'll i'll keep looking at the feedback that's 69 fame i'll keep looking at the feedback and see how you guys feel about the longer video it takes me way way longer to edit it takes me much longer to upload it um Okay, so it takes a lot of time from my side, but this is me, guys. I'll rather go through the process with you. And anyone that is invested in a survival game, in the survival element of a game, and everything that Scum has to offer, won't have a problem with these long um, interactive guides. 
but I will still be looking at your feedback. And like I say, I'm going to try and get to 120 fame by just searching logs in the snow because the desert area is not something that I'm crazy about. The grasshoppers don't give me any... Remember, the grasshoppers don't give you any fame. Um, it's only the larva that gives you fame. But I'm going to see how long this takes me. Um, it's been two minutes since since I've started. So I'll see how long it takes me to go from 70 to 120 fame. And like I say, if I feel it's going to take you guys a bit too long, then the bunkers are always a choice. But in any case, let's keep searching these logs and I will tell you guys how long it took. Yeah, I've got a hunt going. <clears throat> I've got a hunt going here, guys. I've got a hunt going here. Let's see if it's easier in the snow. With... I've got a goat here, one of my favorites. Definitely think the goat, the sound is coming from this way, from the side. And yeah, I've collected 80, I've gathered 11 fame within 13 minutes. It's about one fame every minute. It's not too bad. And um, you do get one fame for the grasshoppers, okay? You get fame for grasshoppers and larva. If you double click it into your inventory immediately. I think walking is a better idea because of my low, low awareness skill and my low survival skill. Okay. Okay, I can't see a lot more, but I'm going to try this in third person. Walking is just a little bit too slow for me. So I'm just going to scan the area where the clue is supposed to be. And you're supposed to be able to see the clue. Never mind when you're in focus mode. You, you're actually supposed to see the clue even if you're not in focus mode. So I'm really interested in what this clue is. I'm looking for like poor marks or droppings or something like that. Then I think I'm too far. Now my car wants to urinate. That's fantastic. Can we poop as well? Oh, we can poop as well. Okay. So yeah, I definitely felt the, the hunting would be easier in the snow because it's so open. But 
Yeah, I think the fact that we haven't got basic awareness, we've got basic survival, mm. but we don't have basic awareness. I think the awareness is um, having an effect on how far we can see the clues from. But I have had comments where they say that the survival um, doesn't just help with your compass direction. Quite a few people are telling me, and I found a hunter in, in the barn. There was a barn there. There's, and if you guys want to know where I search for logs, it's in this area. Okay? Right here. Like, here's the trader, this open field, and this open field. It's very, very nice for me to search for logs. But yeah, I think we've lost the hunt again. I think three minutes has passed. Yeah, definitely. Three minutes has passed since the last clue. So I'm just going to keep on trying, guys. I'm just going to keep on trying. And then there's a grasshopper. I've got 81 fame. Now I've got 82 fame. Okay, so the grasshoppers also give you fame. And here in this open field, there's a lot of um, logs and stuff you can search. Okay. It's not as fast as the olives, but I just love I just love exploring um, this area. I just I just feel better when I'm in the snow than I do when I'm in the desert. And again, the chance that you're going to get killed by someone in the snow is very low because people people just prefer not to go into the snow. And I mean, it's easier to spot someone, you know, there's not a lot of cover and everything. And like I say, if you look around, the logs aren't very far apart. And I don't like eating olives. You can eat the grasshoppers and the larva. There's nothing negative about a grasshopper, grasshopper or a larva. Um... Except for the fact that they give you food repulsion. But you just have to take a break after each one that you eat. And I'll show you guys that now. See if we can get five here quickly. There's one. Three. Look at all these logs. Especially for some people that struggle with color, you know, like maybe there's people that are colorblind. You don't have to worry about color to identify the different colors of the bushes, you know. So yeah, I'm going to show you, if you eat a larva, okay, it's going to give you one gram of each, but you're going to have to wait for the food repulsion to go. Then you eat it again and again. It's going to push your repulsion. You can't eat two in a row. You have to wait for the food repulsion to go away. It's only the larva that takes quite long when it comes to food repulsion. So I wait for that to disappear, and then I eat the next one. And now, like you guys can see, 1.5 gram of protein, 2.6 gram of fat, carbs. Okay, it's a nice little balance of everything. So we got about three grams of each there with the larva. And the grasshoppers are a little bit easier. As you guys can see, you have to be quite patient with the larva. But the grass grasshoppers are easier or faster. Okay, so now we're going to eat the grasshopper. See, that doesn't nearly go as far as the... You see how fast that is? That doesn't nearly go... The repulsion doesn't go up to the end, like with a larva. And it goes through your system really, really, really quick. 
And with a grasshopper, we've got 1.3 grams of protein, 1.3 grams of carbs, and half the fat. Okay, so the grasshoppers are really, really nice. One, two, three, four, five. We can just keep eating. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I think you could maybe eat two in a row. Of course, it will let the food repulsion take longer, but I, we can't. We can go one and two. Okay. But it still recovers very fast. So we can go two at a time. But we just can't eat we just can't eat three grasshoppers in a row. Because as soon as that repulsion goes to the end, then you're gonna throw up everything that you've eaten. But I mean we've got three grams of protein, three grams of carbs, two grams of fat, you know. So it's very, very balanced and it's giving us 755, you know, calories per hour. Not a lot of water, but still very, very nice calories per hour. Now I can now I can keep on searching. Like I say, it's a lot of it's a lot of logs here, man. A lot of logs here. And this is fun for me. Exploring the snow, getting to different farmhouses. Exploring different areas is fun to me. Like, I'm, I could go to the castle if I want to. Okay, there's a point of interest here. I could go to that point of interest. But I just enjoy this more. That's the thing for me. I just enjoy this more. Okay, so I found a carbon hunter right here in this tower. That's freaking excellent. Going up nicely, getting to where I want to get. <clears throat> Got to get rid of that fish. Organizing my loot a little bit better here. Um, making sure I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep, guys. I'm gonna sleep for this free exhaustion. Okay. Don't worry, I will go to sleep at some point. There we go. Now we've got the carbon hunter as well. I want to use the, the hunter 85 to level up my rifle skill. Although, didn't I start with the rifle skill? No, I start with, started with melee weapons. Yeah. So I want to use the, the hunter, which is the best weapon to level up rifles or sniping. And then I want to combine the carbon hunter, uh, the pistol, and the shotgun um, for players. Okay. Carbon hunter is very, very strong versus players. Shotgun is very, very strong close range. And then a pistol, you know, just a just a nice good utility tool. But yeah, I'm basically running, I'm running um, around the trader at the moment because I think I'm gonna get to 100, 120 fame by the time that I'm done. And again, I think I can craft. I thought I could have crafted a better bow a long time ago, but again, I don't mind having the weak bow. Um, leveling up my skills, multitasking is much more important for me because, well, I can run around here forever, guys. Actually, if you don't run around, you'll probably freeze to death. So the fact that I'm running around is leveling up my constitution and my dexterity, not the strength so much, but I am, I'm, I'm multitasking. I'm leveling up quite a few things while I'm running around. The snow, you'll never run out of water in the snow because you can literally just search... A rock pile and then you can literally eat the snow and that's going to give you water okay going to give you 50 milliliters of water and you can do that forever snowball is going to give you 960 milliliters per hour okay so not a problem at all and yeah personally it's preference if you want to you know go with your short pants and your short shirt 
and you want to go to the desert area, you can go pick the olives if you want to. I just prefer this. Personally, I just prefer this. So this is this is very dependent, you know. But I mean, there's various ways to do it. You can pick the olives. Uh, you can pick the logs, and here we go again. Come on, man. We, when, when can we do this? Okay, so the clue, clue must be very, very close. I don't want to walk past the clue. Walking is fine. Let's see if walking is going to be the secret here. Yes, it feels very, very slow. I just feel it's more reliable. Like, the sound is definitely coming from that, si from that side. There, there, there. You guys see. You're supposed to be able to see the clue without without aware, without holding the focus mode. And then yo. Look at that, guys. The 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 icons aren't coming up at all. So you physically have to look at it. You physically have to look at it. But you can look at it without focus. But look with the focus mode. Those little icons, those little paws aren't coming up. So that should have to do with my awareness. But okay. We're getting there. We're getting there north. So I just want to look for the clues. I literally just want to look for clues. But I want to go north. I want to go north for now. Okay, there we go. Now, now we've got the sound. Okay, so if those little paws aren't going to pop up, we're just going to look for clues. If the little paws aren't going to pop up. We can look around a bit just to see if we can... Okay, okay. Okay, let's just see. Can we do this without focus mode? That's the thing. Can we do this without focus mode? That's the thing. Yep, we can. Yep, we can. We can do this without focus mode. Northwest. Oh, there it comes up. There it comes up. When did it come up now? Oh, you have to be very, very close to it. Very, very, very close. Okay, but we're going to hunt without the focus mode. Okay, so it's northwest. There we go. Gonna look for clues. Hopefully, the clue is not inside a house. Okay. There's clues. There's clues. Those branches aren't supposed to be there. West. No, I'm going for the goat. Or, or, or is this it? Is this it? Is this it, guys? Is this it? What? What did it say? West. Yep, it spawned in. It, it has spawned in. There we go. There's the goat. Where is it? Where the heck is it? Oh. 
Where did it go? Come on, did it run away? What the heck is this? The puppet scared it away, man. I didn't scare it away. Come on, really? I did not scare it away. Okay, I might have scared it away when I ran at it. Okay, so there's a light here that needs a wheel. Come on, where did it go? There it is, there it is, there it is. Got it! We can make the meat skewer, guys, officially. Let's go, man. Let's go. Four dead. Goat dead. Let's do it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are finally done. Finally. Very, very good feeling when you're finally done. I must say these, these missions are um, very interesting to me. I really like that the, <coughs> that the missions are even challenging me. Very, 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 very nice. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut this up into small sticks. Actually, you know what? We're going to do this in the trader zone. Yeah. You know what? We're going to do this in the trader zone. So, let me just go pick up this. And... Let's complete the missions. So, if I have to look back what missions we haven't completed or what missions we needed to complete is the meat skewer, which we're going to do in the trader zone now, the improvised bulletproof armor, which we are going to do now, and the, the equip the pistol fully. So, let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to cut down this tree right here. I'm going to get the branch that popped out over here. Place it the way I showed you guys in day one. Cut down the branch so that it goes that way. Okay, our sticks went in a bit of a line. Where did the short ones go? Okay, so the short ones on here, that's not a problem. Then I'm going to cut up a log. Then I am going to remove a nail from my box of nails. And then because I've got a bolt in my inventory, I am going to 
Check two planks, two scrap metal, one nail, one bolt. Oh, I need a blunt weapon. Uh, for the blunt weapon, we are going to need an axe. Okay, which is not a big problem. We can cut up one of these sticks quickly. Craft the stone axe head. Put the stone axe head in there. Go to the rope and the sticks. Craft an axe. Because we've got the axe in our vicinity now, <clears throat> now we should be able to um, craft the. You're gonna put it here. Now we should be able to craft the wooden club with a plank and an axe. There we go. We've got the club now, and now because of the planks and the nail. And the bolts in our inventory, we can craft the toolbox. And now, because of the toolbox, um, we need four, we need two, two extra skins, okay? And we need six bolts. So we've basically got everything that we need at the moment, although we don't need a toolbox for this. So I made a mistake with that. We don't need a toolbox for this. Okay, so I can repair I can repair my helmet there. So okay, my mistake. We don't need the toolbox, but what we can do is cut up these wires. Um, I think I've got two of them. Yeah, so we can cut up the car battery cable into wires and that will give us two blue wires with full uses on and now we can craft the 30 pound but the 35 pound boat which is almost double as strong as the 20 pound boat okie dokie Put the put the saw back in there. So now we've got the 35 pound bow. And we've got eight arrows. We're gonna need a few more arrows. So we're just gonna go to the small to the small sticks. Craft four arrows. I'm gonna wait till I have 12 feathers and the toolbox so that I can craft um, metal arrows. You guys will see when we do the metal arrows, probably on day three. Okay, so now our arrow our arrow count is full there, and we've got the 35-pound bow on us. I'm um, going to need two extra skins, but I mean, we will run into puppets at some point. And what we can do now is we're going to go, we're going to drop this one now. We're going to go and buy potatoes, I think at the saloon. Step right up. We're gonna try and buy a potato. Yep, we're gonna buy four potatoes. Okay, the four potatoes will fit in there. Then what we're gonna try and do now What's your point, is then? salt. Okay, there's no salt here. Let's just see if she, if she sells the black pepper here. Black. Okay, no, she doesn't sell the black pepper, so that's probably at the general store. Come back again. This is not my chest. Don't worry about the chest. Welcome, welcome. So we're gonna Feel buy free salt. To browse around. That's twenty bucks. We don't need all of the scrap metal. We need four scrap metal. We need one, two, three. Four scrap metal, so we don't need that scrap metal. So we can put that in there, and then we can buy black Here's pepper. Here's what I've got. Sort of expensive, but it's fine. We 
we can kill this puppet quickly. Let's kill this puppet quickly. Okay. No, we'll get we'll get three puppets now, guys. I thought we were we were done, but we have to get three skins, three puppet skins. But that's not a problem. Okay, so now we've got all the ingredients that we want. And as you guys can see, my food and my water is done for. There's the other skin. Okay, we know where the one skin is, in case we see another puppet, which we are not seeing at the moment. So now we're going to cut up a long stick into small sticks. And then we're going to build a fire right there. And then we should be able to craft the this. And as you guys as you guys have heard me say, I don't want to just eat protein. Yes, we are gonna eat the meat skewer now, but the meat skewer is gonna basically give us protein and fat, not a lot of carbs. We need to make sure that we've got carbs in our system. And I'm just gonna add that to the fire. We need to make sure that we add carbs to our system before we eat um, protein, okay? So I'm just going to put the 35-pound bow there. I don't think I'm going to need the rope, but it's fine. So now we're just going to press F on it to cook. And we're going to start with the vegetable skewer. We're going to put the four potatoes in there. And I've got a very bad feeling. Okay, we only need three. I've got a very bad feeling that I don't have a mushroom. Yep, that bad feeling was right. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to browse around. Make sure. New clientele, step right up. Okay, apparently you can buy a Lingzi mushroom at the bar. I've never seen this mushroom. But okay, it gives you, it's giving us carbs and protein. That is the first time. I just round, tried my luck, guys. I just tried my luck. I've never bought a mushroom at the bar. But luckily they have a mushroom there. I could have just eaten the four potatoes raw. It would have been roughly the same as the skewer. Um, yeah, but I want to do this properly. So we're going to go over here. We're going to do the vegetable skewer. You're going to need three. I thought, I, I thought four, but we're only going to need three. And then hopefully we can use this bloody mushroom that we just bought. Yes, we can use the mushroom that we just bought. And then we can use the black pepper. And we can use the salt, and then we can say cook. Okay, so there's a proper skewer. And then for the meat skewer, again, the salt and the black pepper. So we're going to take this lovely goat meat, and we're going to take the, um, the salt and the black pepper, which is excellent for skewers. You only need salt and black pepper for skewers. And there we go, guys. We have completed that mission. And because we've got 120 fame now, and I did enjoy it. I really enjoyed... 
Yo, guys, I really enjoyed running around the snow, okay, gathering the fame. So that was a lovely experience. Um, and I can go buy the magazine quickly. If we can do it fast enough. So if you type in block now, we are open for business. You're going to buy two magazines. <clears throat> there we go. And we have completed that mission. I have literally got enough money to put a sight on it and a silencer. I might still buy a silencer, but that is not the mission. The mission is to fully equip it. And, you know, you can fully equip it whichever way you want. Um, but we're going to follow it up with ammo now. Which takes 12 rounds, 13 rounds. We're going to fill that one up. And there we go. We have got, officially, we have got a fully equipped block with the flashlight so i can put the site i can buy the site i can buy the suppressor but the thing is we've got a fully equipped pistol now okay and that was the mission got one in the chamber 13 in the magazine it's green you can stop it as soon as it becomes green that's perfectly cooked so we're going to start with the vegetable skewer four uses guys four uses and if you want to preserve it, don't eat all. But I know that there's four uses, so every use is 25%. So if my stomach fills up too quickly, I can always stop it just before 50%. That's how you can eat all and make sure you keep certain uses. So my stomach is filling up very, very fast. I'm going to stop this before it hits 50%. Okay, because four divided by 100 is 25 so I just want to eat two of them. I'm going to stop it there. And as you guys can see, I've still got two uses left. Okay. That's how I can manage that. And then at the cooking, I'm just going to wait for this to get into the green. And those two uses that I just did over there. He is giving me 60 carbs and 20 protein. Okay, so in total, it's going to give me 100, if I've, if I've eaten everything, it's going to give me 120 carbs and 40 protein. And now we're going to get to the meat skewer. Like I say, there's a minute and 40 seconds left. You don't have to wait. As soon as it's green, you can stop it. And it's going to be perfectly cooked because you added all the ingredients. Okay, and now we must just check. We, our stomach's at 65%. Um, this is going to give us 61 grams of protein, 7 grams of fat, and not a lot of carbs. Uh, but I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to wait till my stomach is at, is at about 50% before I eat this. And then again, I have got water bottles. I've got a water bottle, and I've got my water skin, Okay. But if I don't want to use the water bottle or the water skin, I can just put this here for now. Not going to run away. And then I'm going to drink about five times, which will be a liter. Okay, one. Two. Three. Four, five, which is about a liter, guys. You can see there, it's about a liter. Okay, I drank now again for some reason. I don't know why the guy drank again. Okay, there we go. We've got about a liter of water, okay? So uh. now, now I'm just going to relax, let the food process, and I'll be back with you guys now. 
Just going to relax and let all the food process. Okay, so as you guys get, as you guys can see, the fire has died down, and my water is full. Okay, the carbs are climbing very, very nicely, and now because my stomach is empty, I can eat the meat skewer completely. That's going to boost my protein very, very, very nicely. And it doesn't take up a lot. It's nice to know how much the meat skewer uses so that you don't you know, overdo your stomach content or your stomach volume. So that's 20%. And now I think I can finish the, the skewer very, very nicely. Um, the intake is only at a is low now because it's the meat skewer the meat skewer doesn't boost your calories insanely at 60 percent okay we're gonna have to push our stomach contents here so that we can eat the entire thing but i'm gonna push it um just don't want to get to 120 percent as soon as your stomach volume hits 120 percent you can die you never want to want your stomach contents to go to 120% because you can die. Uh. Okay. So there we go. We've got 63 carbs there. Now you can see the intake is much better. We're going to pee quickly. No, we've peed ourselves by mistake. <laughs> by mistake, we peed ourselves there. And I think I can... I've still got an extra potato. And I'm not going to leave the toolbox here. That is not a good idea. So I'm going to put the... Okay, I can't take the toolbox with me. So I'm going to need two extra... going to need two extra slots here. We're going to put the toolbox in there. And then we need our 35-pound bow here. And just take our two arrows that we're missing. And there we go. Now we can see what we've got to sell. No, that ain't gonna... Okay, we don't really want to sell anything at this moment, guys. Everything that we wanted to sell is in the other backpack. We can sell the shotgun because, you know, we've got the carbon hunter now and the hunter, which is complicating things a bit. The carbon hunter goes for 1,400. I don't think, I don't know if I want to start focusing on players at this moment. That's a big thing for me. And I, I actually prefer All the right. pistol. Let's do this. Over the shotgun. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to click on the bank and then we're going to click on the shotgun and on the carbon hunter because we are struggling with inventory space here. Um, that's about it for now okay i'm sure you're going to find another carbon hunter i actually want to find an awm uh, but we can sell that and it was supposed to go directly to our bank account but it didn't go directly to our bank account the guns bank, come the, security the, reasons. the buy is Obviously. on the bank account the sell wasn't on the bank account okay so just remember that when you go to sell make sure you choose the bank account again but that's fine. We can deposit the money. It's not. It's there's nothing wrong with that. But since we've got the cash now, let's use the cash. Okay, let's use cash, and we're gonna get a suppressor. Okay, no, the suppressors are too expensive as well. Although not the M9, not the M9, and the M9 suppressor is gonna be good for this. Then we've got two thousand bucks left. Let's see if we can buy the Sentry. No, the Sentry scope is two hundred forty-five. So now what we can do is we can take the pistol um, and now we can put the suppressor on. That will help a lot to not attract other players. We've got the flashlight on it, which is nice. Okay. Okay. Now they are fired a shot by mistake. So we're going to holster that again. And now I just want to see if I take this skin and I take the other skin. Okay, no, I didn't chop this puppet up. I didn't chop this puppet up. So that's fine, guys. We're going to go find us two puppets. Get the bike. 
And because inventory space is a problem, I think day three is going to be very, very interesting. Day three will definitely take longer than day two. But I do feel the missions are very, very nice at the moment. And we can just put the night vision on so that we can see everything. But we've got one skin. We need to kill two more puppets for two skins. To complete the last mission. And I feel finding puppets is not that difficult. I think if I go right here, I'm going to find two puppets. But then, but then again, my bike is a year on the line, so I'm rather going to go left. Okay, we've got a puppet over here. Skin number two on its way. Where that there isn't another puppet, yeah? Where is the other puppets? One puppet? That's quite low. We got two screwdriver uses there. Absolutely perfect. There we go. We've got his skin. See if we can put the screwdriver somewhere else. There we go. We need one more skin. And um, we've got us we've got sewing kits. Yeah, we've got sewing kits. There's nothing wrong with that. And uh, we can just put them put that back. And get us one more puppet. And there we go. One more puppet we have. Depending on the server you play on, finding puppets will be a little yeah, a little bit more difficult, a little bit less difficult. You can always hunt an animal. An anim animal gives you a lot of skins. Okay. So I'm going to chop this up with my knife. Just because I like using the knife. And I need to pee again. Again, you will pee in your pants when you hit 120%. So I'm going to pee right now because I don't want to pee in my pants. So, as long as it doesn't hit 500 milliliters over the top. There we go. Okay. So, at least we didn't pee in our pants there. That's really, really, really good. And now, because we've got a skin underneath us. There's the skin. Now, we've got three skins, four scrap metal. We need six bolts. How many bolts do we have? Three. So, let's take out these bolts. That should give us the six bolts in total that we need. And we have crafted the improvised bulletproof armor. There we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have got the armor, okay? I hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed day two. It was quite challenging for me. And let's just have a recap of the missions. Get tinder from a log, which we did. Cook a vegetable skewer, which we did. Cook a meat skewer, which we did. Craft an improvised backpack, which we did, even though we didn't need it. Craft the water skin, we did that. Craft improvised bulletproof armor, which we just did. Craft metal spear, which we did. And we tested the spear out get to 40 fame points we got to 120 fame because we need 120 or we can just go find what we need um buy a hiking backpack equip a pistol fully okay so all 10 missions are completed if you enjoyed this even if it's a little bit long but like i say for me to teach you guys everything in the game and give you 10 missions a day um you know, we are going to go through a journey together. So please leave your score down below for me again, you know, out of 10, how helpful you found the information, how, um, you know, concise I was with the points that I was giving you, and then how entertaining it was for you guys. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor and click the like button. And if you want to see and, see and learn everything there is to see and learn about Scum, then do yourself a favor and click the subscribe button. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. 
and see you guys on day three. Don't you guys think it's exciting that you don't know what the missions are going to be on the next episode? Cheers. And just a last little tip for you guys. Please go sleep in a bed. You're going to need all the energy you can gather for day three. Okay? Please go sleep in a bed. As you guys can see, because I ate food, good food, um, I ate the canned spinach, which was really, really good. Minus 18 stamina units per hour, minus 42 stamina units per hour. Okay? And we've lost 20 stamina units per hour, so we need to sleep for about two hours. Please remember to do this before you start day three. Cheers, guys. Have a great day.